I have nothing to do with the Knicks. I don't know who traded Porzingis. They got nothing to do with me. I'm trying to play basketball. Y'all come here every day, ask me about free agency, ask my teammates, my coaches. You rile up the fans about it. Y'all let us play basketball. That's all I'm saying. And now when I don't want to talk to y'all, it's a problem with me. Come on, man. Grow up. Woo! KD letting him have it last night. He didn't speak for nine games, and he let his silence go away. Checking out the cap space for 2009 free agency. You got the Knicks sitting on top of the lifts. You heard him mention the Knicks. Not that he said he's going there, but just for the sake of showing you the cap space for a lot of the teams that made moves, we wanted to put this graphic on the screen. So, number one, before we even talk about next season and the cap space available, when you first heard KD and, and, and his rant that he went on, just starting with you, what, what, what were your thoughts? Did you think it was accurate? What, I just thought I was surprised. I mean, sometimes, you know, I used to I bring my kids in. And, and into the into the house, and I, I always try to build confidence in my my kids. And sometimes I'm like, you know, you're Malloy, right? Like you don't have to do that. You're Malloy Smith. You're Kevin Durant. You don't have to do that because you're Kevin Durant. You speak for yourself. Your game speaks for yourself. Your championships speak for themselves. Your ability speaks for them. and and what you do off the court speaks for himself. So when anyone asks you a question that you're uncomfortable with. You're like, I'm not, I'm not answering that because I'm a Golden State Warrior and you keep it moving. I don't think he, he's Kevin Durant. He doesn't have to go on a rant. That's all I was thinking because he is who he is. And yes, everyone wants him in the whole. There's not a team in the NBA that doesn't want him. So just to, to single out one team or to put emphasis on it, it actually builds more interest in it. For, in my uh, you know, explanation, just, yeah, explanation. Of. Did, did he make this bigger, like Ken was saying, by by going on this rant? Do you agree that that he made this a bigger deal than what it was before? I, I don't know if it's a bigger deal, Kenny or Rowe. I think because I know Kevin very well, he's an emotional person. He's been emotional since he's been in high school. So to your point, uh, Kenny, as being one of the best players in the world, he wants to speak for himself. So the only thing I would advise him to do is take a page out of Carmelo's book. Answer it one time and then move on. And I think to his point, Kenny, he got asked the same question in October, the same question in November, the same question in December, and he's saying he's the best free agent right. exactly. in so, the world. So that's why he has so to he's make one to, comment right. and keep it moving. But he's going to hear right. it because right. he's the best free agent in the world. There's not a team in the NBA that not, would not deplete their roster to add him to yes. it. There's not one team. So. Because he's a free agent, this is what comes with the the power yes. and the ability to choose where you want to go. This comes with it. And you're Kevin Durant, man. Hold on. You're, you're Kevin Durant. And what did LeBron do last year? Yeah. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Yeah. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. In July, I'm going to L.A. And, and everything was done. So I'm, and to your point, I'm Kevin Durant. This is my answer. Leave me alone to July. And then we'll leave him alone. Well, we're not going to leave alone this topic about the Knicks. We're not going to talk about KD, but the other potential free agents that could be available. Do the Knicks actually have a shot? We've seen year after year the Knicks have all yeah. this cap space. No available. one has a shot at anyone. Yeah. No one has a shot. You so, all, you're all in position, mm -hmm. but no one has a shot. Because, and, and, and Paul George did it all. He said it all. And to, I, I will go where I want to go. This is a different era of basketball. Yeah. This isn't. Oh, I need to play in Los Angeles. I need to play in New York. I need to play here to, to secure a legacy. Twitter, Instagram, every other form of media. It's instant news. Mm -hmm. You, Giannis, will possibly win the MVP in Milwaukee. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't matter anymore. Russell's won it in OKC. And, and, and OKC, it market. does not matter. James Harden in Houston, which is fourth largest city, different. But you don't need that environment. So you have to create an environment of winning culture. You have to make decisions that make people excited. If you are making decisions that don't make me excited, I could get now these guys $200 million at multiple places. Yep. So what are you doing to make me excited? When we were coming up, there's only a two, three teams that had money that you could actually go to. Right. So, okay, I'm going to go there. I'm never going to make that type of money anywhere else. That is not the case. You have to have a culture that people are excited about, and they'll come. The best players in the world will come. They will be in Oklahoma City. Two of the best top ten players in the world are in Oklahoma City right now. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. All right. That's all.